Okay, so here is a quick little uh, video about how to make a graph, okay? And you might think that this is sort of basic, okay? But it's really important because oftentimes on one of the APFRQs, there'll be a three or four points for making this graph. And just doing that part correctly can get you almost to a three on that question, okay? All right, so the first thing is you'll have your data, okay? So a um, couple of things that they're going to want you to do, all right? You need to scale the graph, okay, and use at least half of the grid that's provided, all right? Um, so make sure that you actually mark in, you know, like whatever these are, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1, 2, whatever. Okay, so make sure you mark in the numbers, use at least half the grid, okay? Uh, the second thing is you have to label including units, all right? And so these units are pretty simple, but then it's going to get a little more complicated, which we'll get into later. All right, but make sure you have both the variable name, right, like position and time, and the units, meters and seconds, okay? So if you don't have all of that, then you'll lose that point, all right? Uh, the third thing is actually plot the points correctly, okay? So just, you know, make sure that, you know, you just do your best to estimate, you know, wherever they should be, you know, I don't blah, 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 whatever, okay? And make sure they're clear and you can see them, okay? Don't just put like a dot, like a little like that, right? Don't just do like that. Make sure you actually make a full point, okay? Um, and then a best fit line, okay? With a straight edge, all right? Because coming out of the reading this year um, on Facebook, I saw a lot of teachers that, that did the grading talking about how bad the lines were, okay? So we really, my new thing is I'm going to make sure you guys are using a straight edge or a ruler for that, okay, I don't have one, obviously, I'm on vacation, okay, so, right, so I'll have my, you know, whatever, like my straight edge, okay, and I will create the best fit line, all right, and then the fourth thing is when you're finding the slope, this is super important, okay, you cannot use data points from your table, all right, you must use points on the line, Okay, points on the line. Okay, so for example, do you see how for me this point and this point pretty much hit right on my best fit line? Usually that doesn't even happen, but still don't use it. Okay, all right, so however you've drawn your best fit line, right, this isn't the greatest one, okay, but you want to kind of leave equal amounts, like if I kind of added up those two distances left out on the top, that should kind of equal that distance from the bottom. Okay, so you kind of need to make the line so that there's as many left out on the top and the bottom. And then when you go to find the slope, you need to use points on the best fit line, not data points, okay? Even like my purple ones, if they're on the line, still do not use them, okay? So what you'll do is you'll have your grid or whatever, right? And then you'll probably find two points, you know, that, uh, you know, I don't know, that's probably not a great example, right? But you're looking for two points that you can estimate the value for, okay? But that are on the line. I would do this and circle them, all right? So that it's super clear, maybe even put the coordinate point when you calculate the slope so it's super clear to the reader what you're doing, okay? Do not use data points, even if they're on the line. I can't stress that enough, all right? Um, Okay, so this, we're going to do this a lot all year. This is a real simple one. Okay, they will get harder. Uh, but scale the graph, right, with numbers. Use at least half the grid. Label with units and variable. Plot the points and use a straight edge for the best fit line. Okay, and then when calculating the slope, do not use data points. Choose two other points on the line and label them. Circle, label, make it very obvious for your reader. Okay, then you'll get all the points on these.